Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we will be discussing one of the features which was released in Washington release of service now called time limited user roles. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So ServiceNow introduced this amazing functionality where we can assign user roles for a specific period of time to an individual. For example, if I want to assign ITIL role to a self-service user for a couple of days or maybe for a week, I can use this functionality to do that and after a week that role will be automatically revoked from his profile. So there is a lot of automation in there. Initially, what used to happen was if somebody asked me for a role individually and as an admin, I will go ahead and grant that role to that user and that user needed role for maybe one week and it's a high possibility that the admin will forget after one week that he has to revoke that role from that user until and unless that user reminds him, he will not be revoking that role. And because of this, there are people in ServiceNow system who have ITL role, admin role or any other role which is not supposed to be with them. So this functionality will help in automation of revoking the roles. As per ServiceNow, the best practice is to give roles through the groups. But this functionality is only limited to the individuals because it assumes that you are assigning them roles temporarily. So just keep that in mind. We will jump to service now and see how can we assign roles to an individual temporarily. I'm in my service now instance, which is in Washington release. I will click on all and I will type here time limited user roles. So there is an hyphen between time and limited. So take care of that. And here I would be presented with the list of time limited user roles records, which were created in past, which might be active or inactive. So all of them are here. So I had done few tests already before making this video. So that's why you are able to see these three records in your service. Now instant, you wouldn't be able to see any records if you haven't created anything yet. So I will go ahead and mark all of these as false as of now. And we will create a new record in this we will be assigning itl role to able tutor and as you know able tutor is a self-service user so he doesn't have access to all the functionalities of itil i will search for itl role here and then the user would be able tutor now what that means is i am assigning itl role to able tutor and it would be starting just now so i'm giving the time as now and maybe the end date as tomorrow you can go ahead and add comments as well. For example, we can add here assigning ITL role to Abel and I will save this. And as soon as I submit this, the role is immediately granted to Abel tutor. So it doesn't go into a job and you have to wait for a couple of minutes or maybe five, 10 minutes sometime. It is immediately assigned to that user. So I will impersonate as Abel tutor. And as soon as we log in, you would be able to see a message here granting time limited role and what all roles are granted to able tutor. We will quickly do a test here. We will check if able has the rights to see the reports or create reports. I will type report here and if I click on new, so he is able to create new reports and that is available to ITL users only as of now. And that proves that able tutor was a self-service user and now he has an ITIL role. I will end this impersonation and I will do another test where I will be assigning admin role to the ITIL user and I will tell you in a minute why I am doing that. I will go back to time limited user roles, create a new record and I will give the role of admin to ITIL user. I will give the start time as just now and I will give the end time as maybe after two minutes and I will click on submit. So immediately ITL user will get the admin role. I will go ahead and log in as ITL user and we can see this message that admin role has been provided to ITL user. We will quickly do a check. I will try to search for user administration and that is available to the ITL user. So the ITL user has the admin access. Now problem with this is what I've felt and what I have tested before this. This user can go in time limited user roles table again. 
she can go into the record which was used to assign her the admin role and she can just go ahead and increase the time maybe to 23rd of march or maybe 30th march she can do it on her own if there was an original admin he has no role in between she can go ahead and directly do that which is kind of dangerous i feel because again we will have the problem where people are increasing the time frame of their admin role so you have to be really careful and clear with the people whom you are giving the admin role that you cannot go and increase your time limit here and if they need to increase their time limit they will have to connect back with you then as an admin you will go ahead and increase that time so you have to be really careful about that this is the only caveat which i have seen in this functionality otherwise it's an amazing functionality it will save a lot of time and a lot of effort of the service now admins. So I would recommend all the service now admins to go ahead and start using this functionality. I hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new about Washington release and service now as well. Please do let me know in comments if you have any questions or any feedback and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button.